be micromap compatible? IKEA speedruns are so hard. Over the years, we've gotten a few wild, weird, and wacky comments on YouTube asking us to make some uh, off-the-shelf stuff. We're going to read through a couple of them now, and if we find a good one, we might just do it. Make a K0 using only stuff from IKEA. That could be fun. First step, getting the materials. All right, I think I have a pretty good idea of what we need. I've made a few plate carriers. We're going to need something to kind of replace Cordura, sort of. We have a flat material. We're going to need some some interesting touches, some stuff that's gonna be a little hard to source, so let's hop right in and get to it. By the way, we're giving this plate carrier away at the end of the video, so stick around, find out how you can win. Think they let you steal these? What is this? Is this breathable? This is an interesting material. It definitely looks like laser cuttable. Where, is that this? Let's get it. No, almost no squish to it, awful, terrible. We need to find some Velcro, the hoof. Dude, this thing has female Velcro, this thing has Male Velcro. Ooh, sweet. Trauma shears. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. I want to cuddle on the couch. Look at this. This is not the density we're looking for. Dude, only losers use steel armor. What kind of plastic is this? Polypropylene. Not to eat. Yeah. That could work. That could work. I honestly just want an excuse to buy this for my wife. I don't know. I have a wooby at home, I don't need this. I actually love these. I kinda wanna make like an ultralight backpack out of this. Let me know if we should make an ultralight backpack out of this. Ikea speed runs are so hard, dude. I feel like there's something here. You know what? Just... Let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and get like three of these. But you know what? Four. All right, we got the ingredients. It's time to cook. Let's get sewing. Step one is gonna be take the materials, cut out the materials, and then we'll see what we're working with. Once we're done sewing, what we can do is we can take everything, put it all together, finish testing, and we go to start testing. It's on the road again, like a band of gypsies. One uh, whimsical dart game. We're gonna butcher this for its female Velcro. We've got some good male Velcro over here. We've got what Ikea claims is a yoga mat. Although it's like no yoga mat I've ever seen. Buckle might come in handy, maybe on a cummerbund. Diana, let's go. At the end of the video, we're giving it away, so don't forget to stick around and find out how. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna make the front plate bag, rear plate bag, shoulder strap, shoulder strap, shoulder strap. That's it, cummerbunds. We're gonna cut up the materials, we're gonna make some patterns. Super pumped for this, let's do it. Can I play music or will that like mess with the whole video? Only if it's around to free. I bet like lo-fi hip hop, chill slash ambient copyright free, play out. Where's the other one? Where's the other disc? Here it is. You want to do the cover one? Yeah, sure. I'm super excited to see how this turns out. I think this has the potential to be a very unique, very interesting plate carrier. Who knows? This could change the market. This could change the tactical world forever. Micromap compatible? This smells fucking off. It just smells terrible. It's a burnt tire. It smells like a riot. Okay, I stamped all the active fjords, so I need to put scotch on and scotch on all of them, and You haven't figured out how to put an AJ3 here. Oh shit, fuck! One thing at a time, one thing at a time. Before the big reveal, here's what you can do to make sure you're in the running to win this plate carrier. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then leave a comment down below with your weird, wacky, and wonderful idea for the next product we should make. Maya, would you do the honors? Woo! Alrighty, over here we've got the glorious Agilite Plattenbaren. This is a uh, low profile plate carrier based on some of the uh, features that make the K19 and K0 some of the world's most comfortable load bearing plate carriers on the market. What we've got over here, obviously front plate bag, 
Velcro panel for your identification pouches. It is placard compatible both with Swift Clips and with G-Hooks. Classic front Velcro field. This cummerbund, it's uh, symmetrical, which means you can swap it from right to left. On this side, you have a quick release based on this 40 millimeter side release buckle. You're looking at two rows of Molly laser cut from this wonderful cutting board material, which is gonna give you great stiffness. You can see that the rear plate bag is held at the proper position where it's covering your vitals. The front plate bag over here, it's height adjustable obviously, is uh, also gonna be covering your vitals. Now on the back you have Velcro and then just the beautiful Ikea straps is super minimalist with a little bit of padding in here from the uh, yoga mat that smells like a burning tire when you cut it on a laser cutter. That's about it, folks. And this is basically the next level gear that's gonna give you what it takes to survive in an urban apocalypse if you're trying to hide inside an Ikea. Next step, field testing. Shy, got something for you. We are on our way to test the new plate carrier. Gonna meet up at the shooting range with one of the units we have uh, good connections with. Gonna see how it holds up.